best in show winner for 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the seven group winners competing for best in show at the 145th Westminster Dog Show. The winner of the sporting group, German short-haired pointer number 32. German short haired The pointers. winner of the working group, Simeon, number 33. A striker from Canada. The winner of the herding group, Old English Sheepdog, number nine. The winner of the Hound Group, Whippet, number eight. The winner of the non-sporting group, French Bulldog, number nine. French Bulldog popular among those who own dogs, but never has a French Bulldog won best in show. That's right, the Frenchie and the Samoyed are the two breeds out here tonight that have not captured in the past. And that's Matthew, who could be making history tonight. The winner of the Terrier Group, West Highland White Terrier, number 19. This is a dog from Thailand. We also had a, have a dog from Canada yeah. in our final seven. Well, Westminster is an international event, Chris. You know, the whole world is watching, actually, right now. This little guy could come up big. With one more to come out. And the winner of the toy group, Pekingese, number seven. David's going to carry. Carry Wasabi a little closer to the arena. Hey, well, Smart it. man. He's done this a number of times. He knows uh, where to save the energy and where to expend it. And, 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 you know, Wasabi is okay, just the short legs. By the way, if Wasabi wins, we're all going to Nobu after this, okay? <laughs> and, and, well, you know, his mother's name is Sushi. Yes, in the family. <laughs> Best in show this evening will be judged by Mrs. Patricia Craig Trotter of Carmel, California. Our stewards are Mr. Charlton Reinders III, Mr. David A. Helming, and Mr. David W. Haddock. There is Pat Trotter from Carmel, California, this year's best in show judge. <laughs> Right. Trainer of Norwegian Elk Count. She's won the Hound Group with Breeds 11 times yeah. and sequestered. I'm always fascinated by this. Uh, so she has not seen any of the show as we have taken viewers through this. And why is that the case? No, she has not. Um, every judge doing Best in Show at Westminster is sequestered. So they come to this ring with a, a clear, fresh mind. They've had no influence from what's been occurring over the last two days. 
Yes, I was going to walk that line. Congratulations. How good you. is this? Show the bike, please. Of course, Thank Valerie's you. handling the German short hair tonight, and if by chance she is selected as best in show, she would be actually uh, matching a record that we have here. She would be the same owner of it, three different dogs that have won best in show at Westminster. Handler Valerie Nunez Atkinson. As noted earlier, this is the daughter of CJ, who won in 2016. Thank you, ma'am. Right on around. Method, the daughter of CJ, won Best in Show in 2016, passed away in 2020. Part of the emotion running through this competition tonight. Show the mouth, please. Show the mouth, please. Thank you. This is the favorite, or at least the top-ranked dog coming in. That's right, but as we've seen before, that doesn't always... <laughs> that Sammy doesn't is always a substantial but winner. graceful dog. Powerful, tireless, with a thick, all-white coat. Impervious to cold, that. Sammy's are perfectly beautiful, but highly functional. They have a wonderful temperament with a smiling face. This is Sammy, number 33. You'll, you'll notice that she, she started at a walk and then increased her speed, and that's something a lot of handlers do just to make sure the dog is getting started and going the right pace. This is it. This is for all the marbles, and she wants to put on a perfect, a perfect performance. This is not a night to take risks. <laughs> Very pretty outline. Thank you, ma'am. Of course, she's baiting the dog. Usually they'll bait the dog with chicken or liver. And they, but at home they have a, a real nutritional diet. An adaptable, gentle, and smart breed, the Old English Sheepdog developed from herding stock into a distinct breed in the mid 19th century. Known as the Bobtail, this archetypal shaggy dog is famous for his profuse coat and peekaboo hairdo. With a distinct bear-like gait and a mellow, agreeable nature, he excels as a drover, able to handle cattle or sheep. This is Old English Sheepdog, number nine. Two best in show back. wins for the Old English I'm Sheepdog. Back when I take him around, I want the first That's back when, in the Back when they were in the working group this before the herding down. group. Look at this and carefully. Off. Mrs. Trotter was giving directions to go down. She wants to see him amble. Remember we talked about that? That pace, typical for this breed. She asks to see that as well as the trot. Very breed specific evaluation. So that they can see, see the roll. dog's gait slowly as it walks away. So is that a preamble or a successful amble? <laughs> <laughs> very successful very amble on the way up. Right on around, sir. With this dog, you notice that the, the the handler grabbed the dog and made it stand into its stack. Each dog, each breed is shown a little differently. Affectionate, playful, and calm, the Whippet is an amiable, dignified, and gentle soul. But give him something to chase and he's all business. This small, extremely fast sight-on has been used as a rabbit courser and a racing dog in England for over a century. Today, whippets love to stretch out and relax for long hours, enjoying the role of a loving companion. This is Whippet, number eight. Down and back, please. Urban, a female, of course, female handler, Chesley, who, again, Urban giving puppies in March of, of this year. She and looks, her husband, by the way, competing with the French Bulldog. That's right. And, and you know, when it comes to the Whippet, it's that balance between power and elegance. And I think she really possesses that. Mm, it's a true athlete. And it's all those S-curves, right? We've talked about that before. And she keeps that shape in motion as well. So these are all the things that Mrs. Trotter is checking off in her mind as she's assessing Thank each of these right dogs, all these this. important distinguishing characteristics.
originally from England, the bright, affectionate bull French bulldog is a charmer who made his way into the hearts of Paris dog lovers. A dog of few words, Frenchies don't bark much, but their alertness makes them excellent watchdogs. The large, erect bat ears are the breed's trademark feature. This is French Bulldog. Thank you, sir. Number nine. <laughs> you see that little interaction. He loves Matthew and he wants him to show well. So we mentioned you know, Justin is the husband. Moments ago, we saw his wife with Bourbon the Whippet. I wonder how their dinner conversation went last night. <laughs> well, you know, I'm sure everyone everyone wants to win. So everyone's flight outside the ring. In the ring, you're well, going to do your best to win. All bets are off. <laughs> Justin's focused right on Matthew around. tonight, I assure you. <laughs> and we'd be making history again. There hasn't been a, a Frenchie win, even though they're one of the most popular breeds. Smart, confident, and always entertaining at play, the adorable Westie has charmed owners for more than 300 years. This sturdy earth dog is among the most popular of all small terriers. This is West Highland White Terrier, number 19. Thank you. If you notice, Mrs. Trotter had her hands getting in there into the hair, checking the skull, checking the stomp. She's been very thorough. She's showing that she has a real strong grasp of what's necessary for this breed. Thank you, ma'am. You saw her rub the coat between her fingers. That's how you judge for the coat texture. All of these dogs are in incredible condition. And interestingly, all seven are pur Purina Pro Plan dogs. It's been a long weekend, a lot of work. But these seven are prepared. You don't come to Westminster unless your dog is ready. They have to be at their peak. This is true. Thank you. <laughs> right on. Yeah. I think you wanted a treat. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. You heard Mrs. Trotter chuckle. She enjoyed that little interaction with the Westie. And that's Westie, the name boy from Thailand. The Pekingese, a compact toy dog of regal bearing and distinctive rolling gait, is one of several breeds developed in ancient China. Peaks are loyal, sophisticated dogs and make charming, confident companions who develop a tight bond with their favorite human. His tapering hindquarters, massive front end, and mane earn him the name Lion Dog. This is Pekingese, number seven. Okay, so she spent a considerable amount of time Thank examining you, the head, that envelope-shaped head, the details that go along with it. Pekingese. Her hands in there under the coat. They have won Best in Show four times. And now she'll, of course, look for that proper Pekingese gait. Yeah, I think I had commented uh, last night that I've been told that it looks like a goldfish moving through the water as you move, watch them move away. A pear-shaped body. <laughs> I'm loving. Can you hear her? She's she's just loving this. She's talking about the dogs. She's getting a kick out of it. Nice and easy. She's been in this group ring probably more than anybody else. Here she is judging us sure. show. But it's like she's looking at these dogs in her backyard. She's just having a ball. She's a true dog woman. Loves the dogs. All breeds. It doesn't have to be just her breed or her group. She loves all dogs. Such an expert. Has she seen anything? Have you seen anything in the way that they've moved out here that would set them apart positively or negatively? For me, no. No, I was going to say, I, I don't think anyone has put a paw wrong. No, they've not given an inch <laughs> at this point. You know, at this level, the quality of the dogs is, is so incredible. Um, it's splitting hairs. A lot comes down to that visceral, visceral reaction. You know, which one makes the hair stand up on your arms? You know, which one makes you smile? guys to pull out one at a time 
Let your dog stand naturally, and then we'll go around one at a time till the end of the line. Right, right, right out here. Yeah. Wow. We have the best seat in the house. Look at this. Mrs. Charter's looking to wow. see what the dogs do on their own, and Jade just uh, threw down the gauntlet. She nailed that perfectly, and now right on around. I love that she's giving them a little more time to show. Yes. <laughs> Striker just said, oh yeah, I could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> There he goes. Beautiful movement. Beautiful. And that's Sammy smile. That attention getting uh, gait and coat. And you'll notice with the old English, he's not baiting the dog with the food. That's just not what you do with a sheep dog. He's walking him into his natural stance. And that's what Mrs. Charter is looking for. She wants to see how these dogs compose themselves on their own without the fuss of the handler touching them. Is that the face of a winner? <laughs> Capacious, big nose, yeah. Looking pretty handsome there tonight. Look at that outline. All those beautiful curves. She had her ears out. Lovely lady. I mean, the dog and Chester. <laughs> There you go. Matthew nails it too. He's taking it all in stride. Typical Frenchie, right? And I love that he's moving on such a loose lead, right? <laughs> showing the dog's, you know, confidence and an ability to carry himself, right, without being supported by the leash of the collar. Looks like the Westies talking there. <laughs> or trying okay. to. Saying, give me a Give me a taste of that treat. We're working hard here all right weekend. <laughs> He's really moving out. Each of them is very representative of their breed in the way that they go. It's really important. And Mrs. Carter's going to appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Right on. Noble presence of that peak in his head. Small package, big presence. These dogs seem relaxed. Are the uh, are the handlers? I don't know. That, I don't know that, that my heart is pounding, and I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> now we're gonna wait for wait for Wasabi. He's almost to the end. There we go. Cat's taking another walk down the line. Yeah, she's coming down from the front. She's looking at heads. Expression, front ends. <laughs> Just quickly, like flashing to the template of that breed, and like, seeing how closely each dog matches that. She's made her decision. Oh. What a wide range. You can feel the tension here. You know what? Because she's so highly regarded. So well respected. All right, and so the runner-up will be named Reserve first. Reserve Best in Show will be named first. That's right, which is, as you would say, second or runner-up. She has to mark it down in her judge's book. Make it official. Winning Best in Show at Westminster is everyone's dream. But I got to tell you, whoever walks out of here tonight with that Best in Show ribbon, getting it from the hand of Pat Trotter, kicks it up a notch. And in a, the 145th year, an event like this has been through world wars, previous pandemics, what happened in 2020, moving it to continue to the month of June yes. for the first time ever, having it at the Lyndhurst Estate, returning next year to Madison Square Garden in Manhattan. It's a testament to the, the resilience and the determination of the members of the Westminster Kennel Club to maintain tradition.
keep this club moving forward. We have to get all the trophies and ribbons ready to go. And all of those. Act like we know what we're doing. I do that every year at the show. Where's the reserve? We're going to give reserve first. Pass it here. Let's go. Can I say what I have to say before I give the reserve? You can. It's your show. What is it? I'd walk out there and give it. Yeah, okay. We'll walk out there and give the reserve speech. Let's go. Dave has your reserve, so I'm going to step back and let him give you the reserve. Glad to have you watching with us live on Fox. Without a doubt, the entire sport of dogs is grateful to the Westminster Kennel Club members and their staff for persevering through troubled times to bring us out to this gorgeous estate and create this show for the ages. We thank them all for all they've done. I also want to thank the judges whose expertise ended up with putting these dogs best of breed in their own breed, and then the second set of judges who sent them in to this glorious venue to compete for best in show. It was a sterling lineup. All of you are worthy. And I want to say this to you. We love all dogs as dog lovers, mixed breeds, and purebreds. They're all pets. Now, every pet may not be a show dog, but be assured every show dog is a pet. <laughs> I certainly want to thank the breeders who have created these lines of beautiful animals. I've seen the ancestors of several of these dogs over the years. So to the breeders and owners and handlers and trainers and conditioners, you're on top of your game, all of you. There is one more I would like to thank, and that's my husband, Chuck Trotter. When I married him 27 years ago, he said, you have to judge with me. So here I am. And then I want to thank all the dogs that brought us all here over the years. Tonight's reserve best in show goes to the lovely Whippet. Bourbon. Reserve best in show. Thank you. The mom and her puppies. And tonight's best in show to the Pekingese. Whoa! David Fitzpatrick! Wasabi. Wasabi takes it! Wasabi is the best in show winner. There's only one, and that's the one. The Pekingese Wasabi. Are we but, going to Nobu now? Yes, we're going to go to Nobu and bring sushi. That's incredible. That is incredible. David is, is not new to this situation, but guess what? Just as exciting as the last time, I'm sure. So the fifth time now, Pekingese has won best in show. Give me your thoughts on the difference, what you saw as our judge saw. Wow. I think it goes down to what I said before. You know, it's it's a personal preference and appreciation. I'm going to say, you know, Pekingese is a very complicated breed with all of the details that one needs to uh, uh, create in their dogs. And I think as a breeder, Pat Trotter would have appreciated that. You know, what's hard to get is highly valued. Of course, David won Best in Show in 2012 with Malachi, and now he's done it again with Wasabi. A landmark moment at historic Lyndhurst and the 145th best in show at Westminster Kennel Club is the Pekingese Wasabi.